What is going on to all my horror slasher movie fans out there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you all my movie review of the brand new Eli Roth film by the name of Thanksgiving. Now is this worth checking out in theaters and is it possibly one of the best slasher films of the year? We'll be discussing that and much more in today's spoiler free review but first let's start the conversation in the comments below. Let me know if this is a film you are excited to check out but more importantly once you've seen it let's talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, what worked, what didn't work, your favorite moments, favorite kills, we you disappointed by the film and also would you want to see more from this franchise and if you've seen a good amount of slasher horror films so far this year why don't you list some of your favorites in the comments below so let me say this up top as a slasher horror fan of many many years i am happy to report that thanksgiving is a slasher fan's dream first off i always judge a horror slasher film based off his first kill and the opening kill in this film told me everything i needed to know which for those in the back that aren't too familiar with this film, it is the third feature film to be adapted from one of the mock trailers in 2007's Grindhouse, and the movie takes place after a Black Friday riot, which ends in a tragedy, and a mysterious serial killer known as the John Carver creates a Thanksgiving carving board out of the town's people. And it's in that plot that I just went over that the opening scene takes place. As someone that's worked in retail for over 10 years and worked almost every Black Friday, there's a opening scene that gave me a nightmare came true because we see these people going crazy in town to get their little waffle machines and just people going crazy in general. And it captures the intensity and the worst case scenario so perfectly in this opening scene. It is just a perfect way to open this film. Which, by the way, this film is super over the top but it's purposeful and it fits so well within the movie's tone and plays an homage to the classic slashes from the 80s and the 90s. Now, Eli Roth is the director and I believe he's the co-writer of this film. And I'll just be honest, I'm not the biggest fan, you know, besides films like Cabin Fever, Hostel, and Elements of Knock Knock, he really isn't my cup of tea. But... For me personally, this is his best film to date. He manages to mix in the humor in this film and it has a pretty solid mystery whodunit in the center of it and it complements each other so well. Now on to the main event and I'm talking about the kills in this film, which again, the opening is truly insane. I love every second of it, but then there are these out of nowhere kind of final destination sequences or like what I like to call is like accidental kills in a film that just are just insane and bloody. But the John Carver kill has some of the best kills I've seen in a very long time. Kills in this film by the killer are extremely creative and very bloody and gory. There is one that takes place on the trampoline that might have been in the trailer. I didn't watch the trailer for this film. The trampoline scene is just like so innovative and so gory and I love every second of it. I wish it was longer, but that is a highlight definitely for me. And each kill after that just got better and better from the last one. And again, I don't want to skip over this, but the killer of this film is a star. But also shout out to the recently announced sexiest man alive, Patrick Dempsey. Now he plays the cop in this film and he does a stereotypical cop thing where he's like, okay, you like this character. And I, and I like what he brought to the film. So the serial killer and Patrick Dempsey are the co-MVPs for me in this movie. But I also want to say I appreciate the subtle commentary on how the film tackles how people today need fame and likes online and how that affects the people and the characters in this film. Again, it's not hit over your head type of approach of storytelling, but it's a subtle commentary that I really appreciated. But the film doesn't come without its flaws. As far as my criticisms go, I gotta say, now, I didn't think anyone besides Patrick and the serial killer were like, you know, characters that I really enjoy. But collectively speaking, as far as the ensemble cast, I wasn't the biggest fan of the teens in this film. But I'll be fair to them. Honestly, there's only like a handful of like teenagers that I like in slasher films, like off the top, the Scream cast in the first Scream, uh, Dream Warriors from Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, you know, the first, I know what you did that summer, like there are very few horror slasher films in which I like the teens. And again, the teens, they weren't like terrible, but there were some acting moments. And I'm like, ah, I wish there was a better casted, you know, person in this role that could have really made me really enjoy this cast because I was more or less like, man, I can't wait for that person to die. Can't wait for you to die because I really didn't care for them as characters because they're not that developed. But also, like I said, their acting wasn't that great. 
Now this is a small nitpick, but there are a little bit too many characters in this film that I didn't really care for and didn't really have a payoff, nor did they add much to the story. Which, speaking of the story, I do wish the actual story was just as innovative as those kills were. Like, by no means is the story like convoluted or confusing, but I just wish it was a little bit more fleshed out. It had a little bit more of a better reveal for my personal taste. But again, those kills are super innovative. If the cast was better, like the acting per se was better, and the story was a little bit more innovative, Innovative. we're looking at a you know a really great film but overall a film that i did enjoy and before i give you all my overall score and let you know if it's worth checking out if you stuck around to this point in review i want to take the time to thank you all for watching it if you haven't already consider hitting the like button consider sharing this video but also sharing your thoughts in the comments below and also consider subscribing to the channel Overall, Thanksgiving is easily one of Eli Roth's best films, if not his best film to date. This is a slasher film's dream. It has a killer opening scene, very creative kills. It is a beautiful homage to the 80s and 90s classics that I grew up in love with a solid whodunit at the core of the film. This is a turkey, pun intended, that is stuffed with such goodness from start to finish. And the John Carver is a welcome new slasher killer that I wouldn't mind seeing in the future. I'm going to give this a solid 4 out of 5, and I think this might end up being my favorite slasher film of the year. Again, I didn't say horror film. Right now, those go to Evil Dead Rise and also have Talk to Me, but as far as slashers go, this is one of my favorites. Again, a 4 out of 5, and listen... I'm just as surprised as you. I really enjoyed this film, and I recommend you all give it a watch. And when you do, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, the bad, the good, the ugly. Favorite kill, mine was a trampoline. But let me know your favorite kill. Let me know some of the things that didn't work for you all. And like I said, I would want to see more of these films and see this killer again in the future if it is available to be seen in the future based on the box office resorts or the streaming numbers, whatever the case may be. I would want to see more, but I want to talk to y'all in the comments. Again, what worked, what didn't work, and let's have a conversation below. Thank you all for watching today's review. Just a reminder, if you enjoyed yourself, to hit the thumbs up. Consider sharing this video as well as sharing your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing to the channel. You all are awesome. Hope you're staying safe, and I'll catch you all on the next video.